in this video, we are going to practice adding mixed numbers. Remember when we practice, I'm going to read the problem to you. You're going to solve it. Come back and watch me solve it. Again, we are going to be simplifying our answers. I know we haven't been doing that, but it is really important to do. So we're going to start that today. We've got 8 and 1, 6 plus 7 and 3 eighths. So the first thing you should notice is that those denominators do not match. So let's start by making our T-chart. With our T-chart, we're going to list out our multiples, and it's your turn to do this problem. So go for that. All right, now let's jump back into it now that you've done the problem, and we'll list out our multiples. 6, 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 8, 16, 24. Four. Now let's make our common denominator is 24. In order to get there, I multiply that 6 times 4. So I multiply the 1 times 4 as well, and I get 8 and 4 24 plus 7. That says 12. Told you it's been a long day. 24. 8 times 3 got me 24, so 3 times 3 will get me 9. So we have 8 and 4 24 plus 7 and 9 24. So let's add those fractions first. I have 13 24. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 and 13 24 is what you should have gotten. Um, 13 24 cannot be simplified. So that's your correct answer. Let's look at our next one. 2 and a half plus 2 and a third. So this is one of those you should be able to look at and say, hmm, that common denominator is 6. I did multiply them together, but it's also a very small number. And you remember, you want to try to keep your common denominator with your least common multiple to make it easier on you. Because sometimes those numbers could get really big, and then it's going to be really difficult to solve. Let's go ahead and add this up. Make our common denominator in equivalent fractions first. To get to 6, I multiply 2 times 3. So I multiply my 1 times 3 as well. I have 3, 6, plus 2. So I need to multiply my 3 times 2. So I multiply my 1 times 2. So I have 2 and 3, 6, plus 2 and 2, 6. Let's add those fractions. I'm going to get 5, 6. Remember, you add the numerators, not the denominators. And if we add our whole number, we're going to get 4 and 5, 6. 4 and 5, 6 cannot be simplified. So that is your answer. Let's go to our next one. 1 and 5, 12, plus 4 and 1, 6. Go ahead and work it out. All right, for this one, in your brain, you should go ahead and know that 12 is going to be your common denominator because 6 times 2 is 12. So let's go ahead and bring down that first fraction and make an equivalent fraction with our second one. I multiplied 6 times 2 to get me 12, so multiply 1 times 2 as well. We're going to have 4 and 2 twelfths. So 1 and 5 twelfths plus 4 and 2 twelfths. That's going to get me 7 twelfths, and 1 plus 4 is Five. Your answer should have been 5 and 7 twelfths, and we cannot simplify it. Let's practice with another. 8 and a half plus 6 and 3 fifths. Go ahead and work it out. All right, for this one, let's make our T chart. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 5, 10. 10 is going to be our least common multiple. So we have 8 with 10 as our denominator. Multiply the 2 times 5 to get me to 10. So we'll multiply that 1 times 5 as well because whatever you multiply the denominator by, you have to multiply the numerator by. 8 and 5 tenths plus 6 and something over 10. 5 times 2 got me 10, so 3 times 2 will get me 6. Let's add those up. 5 plus 6 is 11. Keep your denominator the same. 8 plus 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 and 11 tenths. Now, when you're looking at it, you should see that this is an improper fraction. Cannot leave it that way. So I'm going to subtract 10 tenths. Remember, I'm subtracting 10 tenths because the denominator is 10. If I subtract 10 tenths, I'm going to end up with 1 tenth. That 10 tenths was going to equal 1. Pull it over here, put it with the 14. I get 15. 15 and 1 tenth is not able to be simplified, so that's your correct answer. Remember, if you got one wrong, go ahead and review the video, check your work with my work, see where you went wrong there, and make sure that you understand why the answer is correct. We've got 2 and 1 sixth plus 4 and 5 ninths. Go ahead and work it out. So for this one, 
I am going to make our T-chart, mostly because I want you to have lots of practice making those. 6, 12, 18, 9, 18. 18 is going to be our least common multiple, so our common denominator. I made that 18 really big, sorry. 2 and something over 18. I multiply my 6 times 3 to get me to 18, so I'm going to multiply my 1 times 3 as well. 3 18 plus 4 and something over 18. I multiply by 9 times 2 to get me to 18, so I'm going to multiply by 5 times 2 as well. 4 and 10 18. Let's go ahead and add up those fractions. 3 plus 10 is 13 over 18. We leave our denominator the same. 2 plus 4 is 6. You cannot simplify that. Your answer is 6 and 3 eighteenths. Let's look at another one. This is going to be our last one before our word problem. 3 and 5 eighths plus 5 twelfths. Go ahead and work it out. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and draw my T chart. We've got 12, 24. 8, 16, 24. 24 is going to be our least common multiple. So 24 is our denominator. I had to multiply 8 times 3 to get me to 24. So I'm going to multiply my 5 times 3 as well. And that's going to get me to 15. Plus, there is no whole number there. Note that. Make sure you're taking note of that. 5 twelfths. 24 is our denominator. I multiplied the 12 times 2 to get me there. So I'm going to multiply my 5 times 2 as well to get me to an equivalent fraction of 10 over 24. And let's add. 15 plus 10 is 25 over 24. Bring down that 3 because there's nothing to add it to. And I know that 25 over 24 is an improper fraction. So we need to pull out 24 20 fourths, which equals 1. Put that 1 with the 3 and I get 4 and 1 24th. Remember, I got 4 and 1 24th because I pulled out 24 from the 5 on my numerator, 25 on my numerator. You should get 4 and 1 24th. Review the video if you got it wrong. And let's do a word problem. Jill walked 8 and, a half mi ooh, eight and 1 eighth mile to a park, then 7 and 2 fifths miles home. How many miles did she walk? I'm curious where she started because she couldn't have started at home. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and work it out. Let's see what you get. For this one, what I like to do first is always to write the equation that the problem is trying to get you to do. So she walked eight and one eighth mile. Well, that says a half again. She walked eight and one eighth mile, and then she walked seven and two fifths miles. How much did she walk? They're leaving out the all together, but there's an all together on the end. So we know we're going to add them together. Eight and one eighth plus seven and two fifths. Let's draw a T chart because we're going to be adding it. We've got 8, 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40. And I know I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I was hoping to find a smaller number. We did not find a least common multiple that was lower than 40. So let's make our equivalent fractions with our common denominator. To get to 40, I multiplied 8 times 5, so I'm going to multiply by 1 times 5 as well. 8 and 5 fortieths. Now we need to figure out our second fraction. To have 40 as our denominator, we need to multiply by 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 2 times 8 is 16. So she walked 8 and 5 fortieths of a mile to the park and 7 and 16 fortieths home. It's a weird way to measure miles, but, you know. 16 plus 5 will get me 21 fortieths, which you cannot simplify. And 8 plus 7 is 15. So she walked a total of 15 and 21 fortieths of a mile. She walked a lot. Her legs must be tired. I hope that's the answer you got. Again, if you didn't, make sure you go back and re-watch that portion of the video to see why you got it wrong.